Okay, so this is the second video in the playlist that we're dealing with finding the values of x for various different shapes. This particular shape is a quadrilateral, which is a four-sided shape. We've been told that the perimeter is 39 centimetres and we've got these measurements that involve x on each of the sides. And we've been asked to work out the length of the shortest side. Okay, so let's have a look at that. Well, the first thing is the perimeter itself. We can imagine the perimeter is little fella. Okay, there he is and he's running all the way down here. When he runs this far, he's run 2x plus 3. Okay, and then he gets to here and he's gonna run down there and that's gonna be another x plus 3. So that's gonna be plus x plus 3. Then he's gonna run along here, which is uh, plus 2x minus 1. And then he's gonna run up here, which is gonna be x plus 7. So by the time he's run that far, according to the information we've got, he's run a distance of 39 centimetres. Okay, so he's run that far. And really, this is just a summation of the, all the information on the perimeter that we've got available to us. So what we need to do now is just tidy it up and make it look a little bit more presentable. We call it gathering like terms. So what we're saying is, is that we've got 2x here, an x there, a 2x there, so if we add those together so far we've got 2x plus x is 3x plus 2x is 5x, then we've got another x there. So in total we've got 6x and then we need to add up the numbers themselves. So we've got plus 3, 6, minus 1, so that's going to be 5, and then we've got plus another 7, so we've got 5 plus 7, that's going to be 12, and that equals 39. And what we have here really now is just a linear equation that we need to work out the value of x. And when we do that, in order to find the length of the shortest side, we just plug that number, that value of x, into each of these, and we find out which is the shortest side. Okay, so I've got 6x plus 12 equals 39. What I'm going to do is I'm going to minus 12 from both sides. Now if I do that, it means I lose that, and I end up on the left-hand side with 6x. And on the right-hand side, I end up with 39 minus 12, which is going to be 20. 7. Okay, and then it's a case of dividing through by 6 because if I divide through by 6, I lose this bit of it, so I get x on it, so which is exactly what I need, and I've got 27 divided by 6. Well, 6 will go into 27 four times. 4 times 6 is 24, and then I've got 3 left over, so it's 24 and 3 out of a group of six. And if you want to simplify that even further, it becomes four and a half. Okay, so the value of x is four and a half. Right, so what I need to do then is take that value of four and a half and plug it into each one of these and work out the length of the shortest side. Now I can kind of figure that out just by looking at it, that it's either going to be this one, maybe not, Okay, this one possibly, uh, and also on the drawing itself, it does look like the shortest side, so maybe I'm cheating a little bit. This one definitely not, because it's going to be two values of x, so immediately it's going to be at least two values of x is going to be 9 plus 3, so that's going to be 12 centimetres long here, so the top one there, don't think so. Okay, this one possibly, this is going to be 9 minus 1, which is 8. So this one, all I've done is I've taken the value of x and I've said two times four and a half is nine, and then minus one is eight, so this is eight. And then on this side, I've got four and a half plus three, so that's seven and a half. Okay, so my instinct was correct that it is actually this side here. The length of the shortest side is seven and a half centimeters. 
Okay, I hope that's okay for you. There are a few more examples on this particular playlist. The main things to remember is you need to uh, look at the perimeter and work out what you've got to do in order to achieve that perimeter and then basically tidy it up solve for x and then feed the information back in to this in order to work out the length of the shortest side. I hope that's been okay for you. There are a few more examples on this playlist. Please do add a comment below. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.